All right, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is another GMS Riley collaboration once again. All right, with the brother Maquam. On the brother Goodell. On the brother Tazabah. And before we go any further, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father, angels on the God the Son. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikakwadash. The next the double honors to our elder apostles slash elder bishops from Great Millstone, who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and rule well. And Shalawan to all the sincere icons pushing 100% truth according to the Bible out of fear and sincerity of heart to the best of their abilities. Whatever brothers got. We're just going to flow through the spirit. Just going in on the bad times, the evil times, and the Lord is, you know, having a uh, doing the whole thing on the earth. You better stop. This is this is the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty-two, and verse three. Uh, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. And what's a prudent man? A prudent man, first and foremost, is an Israelite. Okay, who fears the Lord. See, an Israelite man that fears the Lord, they're going to see the bad times before it happens. We don't need to see it to believe it. The Lord gave us the fear and the faith to believe it as we read it and as we heard it from our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone on down, man. But the simple past song, which is the majority of our people, and they're going to be destroyed. They're going to be tortured by the Lord. They're going to suffer pure hell out here. Why? Because they didn't believe. Okay, they, they wanted to see it to believe it. And now that they see it, it's too late to repent. And the Lord's going to destroy them. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a book of Amos 3. Uh, yeah, this a book of, yeah, this is a book of Amos 3 and 6. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord have not done it. And the trumpet is being blown now through these prophecies, through the prophets speaking the prophecies according to the scriptures, man. And the only ones that are going to tremble and get themselves right is the elect of the nation of Israel. That's why we always reiterate that it's all about the elect. Because the two-thirds of our people, according to Isaiah the sixth chapter, says they're going to be like this all the way till they get destroyed, till they get burned up to a crisp, man. So we understand it's not before it's not for the majority of our people. It's only for the elect. We got it, bro. That was it. That's it. Uh, I got a quick one for one of y'all. This is Isaiah forty-five verse seven. Bear with me. This is Isaiah forty-five verse seven. It says, "I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai." Do all of these things. Yep, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, he's bringing the good and the evil, right? That's that's the that's the uh that's the plus, so to speak, for knowing Yahweh Bashim Al Shah for the elect of the nation of Israel, because you understand that the Lord controls both sides, both good and evil, right? And you go into evil, you go into bad times, right? So the Lord is the one that's gonna be bringing these horrific judgments by way of by way of these different storms, these earthquakes, right, right, he's he's bringing the uproars of the people, these different protests that you see, right, because the wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the Lord is fed up, you know. Right. Yep. The Lord creates the evil. The Lord is bringing the evil, man, mm -hmm. and it's here. It's here. It ain't coming. It's here. Right. Bad times are here, man. You got that draft that's about to kick off and the phone chimed in, yep. you know? Things about to intensify out here, man. Right. It's going to be looking bad for the two-thirds of our people, too. Yep. You got it, bro. Um, this is the book of 2nd Edges 14 and 16. It says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. That's right, and it's only going to intensify. Mm -hmm. The evils, the bad times, the judgments of the Lord are going to intensify. This week is going to be worse than the last week. Okay, tomorrow is going to be worse than today. Next year is going to be worse than this year, man. Things are only going to spiral out of control for America, Babylon, and Great. It's going to get out of control all, throughout the whole planet Earth, but the main focus is here in America, man, where the greatest destruction is going to happen. See that? 
mm-hmm. of the destruction of two thirds of our people and these heathen nations, man. And we're hoping to pray that we be a part of the elect to receive salvation. Yeah, something but that. Uh, I got the book of uh, Amos 5 and 19. All right. Yeah, this is the book of Amos chapter 5 and verse 19. It says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. I'm not going to start up. Okay, yo, okay, yep. this is the verse. So like, this is the verse. This is the book of Amos chapter 5 and verse 18. It yep. says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Yeah. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You see that the Lord says, woe is being the death and destruction to the hypocrites of our people, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You wacky tacky Christians. We, we was, we was uh, having a good laugh earlier about how these damn Christians got demons on them, man. Mm-hmm. You know, how they talk, that stupid ass organ. You know what I'm saying? No instrument plans. You got these pastor bacon and all them going into the testimony about what they went through instead of bringing out the scriptures. Mm-hmm. That's all, that's all going to be destroyed on this side, man. You even got those that are Israelites that are coming in the same spirit of these wacky taking Christians, man. And they're all going to be destroyed together because they teach the same doctrine. They all call on Jebus. They all believe in hell, well, most of them. Uh, what else? Uh, they got they got similarities, man. Mm-hmm. You know? So they're all a bunch of them Israelite Christians in our eyes, man. Cause that really ain't no difference between them besides one where a fringe is and one where a suit and tie. You, y'all, you, you both get lineups. You both wear long hair. Yeah. Y'all both pe- teach with your damn head covered. But you know different from the Pucky Techie Christians, man. They both, I was going to say they both lie, lie to our people as yeah, well. Bro. They don't tell our people the truth. Uh-huh. Yep. So what's really the difference between you and them? you all doing it in the name of Jeebus. <laughs> that was it, bro. You going to verse 19? Say what, bro? You going to verse 19? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, this is the book of Amos 5 and 19. It says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. That's right, which is going into a, a, a bad time to a worse time. Me and the bros was just watching uh, Z Nation. You know what I'm saying? And, and all throughout that series, they go from one situation to a worse situation in each episode, man. That's how it's going to be for you people, man. Yeah. It's not going to get no better for you if you're not of the elect of the nation of Israel, man. So all you scoffers and scorners and keyboard warriors and agents, that's all you got to look forward to is the Lord putting pure hell your way, man. And you deserve it. We're just hoping to pray that we see it, man. Cause we want to see the downfall of our enemies, man. Right. And we're seeing it now through the through the gradualism of the deterioration of this society, man. Mm-hmm. With this word crushing all these damn lies, these wicked least they can't get sleep at night. Mm-hmm. This word is, is 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 flooding the internet. Well, you got the brothers, whatever the brothers have. If not, I got some. Uh, okay. yeah, I got some real cool. Like, Oh, you got that, brother? Yeah, yeah. I was just, I was just gonna bring out that second Edges fifteen and five. Bible for sure. Uh, yo, this is the book of Second Edges, chapter fifteen and verse five. It says, "Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction." Want to speak on that? Uh, it says, "It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. You know, the sword. You know, which we know that that sword is a." Uh, is any killing instrument, and, and we know we know that uh, that Yahweh by Shemal Shai sword is is a uh, is the wicked uh, Esau yep. Edom. Yep. All right. It says it says famine. You know, it's a famine uh, goes into a, a lack of a lack of resources. You know, uh, and and food. Yep. It says the word. Yep. Yep. Also, yep. Also, there's going to be a, a famine of of the word. You know. Yep. What they say, Esau, he got that, uh, he got that, uh, that, 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 that um, <clears throat> you know, he got that free, that, that free speech. All right. He, he pretty yeah. much censoring, uh, free speech. Right. Uh, it says, it says death and, and, and destruction. Yeah. You know, 
Cause this is that's all that's just coming to this place. You know, this place is uh, <laughs> this place is uh, appointed uh to to uh, what uh, nuclear destruction, which are going to be those uh two hundred uh, million um warheads that are going to hit this, that are going to hit America. Yep, that's the end of the y'all. Troy, that was it on that. Kind. This is us. Uh, oh, you guys remember? This is Second Ezra chapter eight verse fifty. But it's not how we do it. That is not how we do it. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the second edges 8 verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Mm-hmm. Yep, and that misery goes into anxiety, stress. Right? So these people are going to be in stress, you know. Scripture say uh, miserable that all day they have not the wisdom. You know, roughly paraphrasing in that wisdom of Solomon. Yep. You know, but these people, because of their pride, Right, it's it's peaking, it is it's reaching its climax. They're gonna be in misery, man. They're gonna be in torments, right? Everybody that's exalting themselves now, right? That's uh, you know, think that their money is gonna save them, think that all their resources or or or, or getting you a, a doomsday prep, you know, send up you a little uh, a basement full of food, thinking that you're gonna be able to escape these times. That's pride, man. Right, and, that, and and great misery is going to be brought upon you people, right? Sure. Starting starting with uh, our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, because you refuse to take heed to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So therefore, the Lord is going to bring the sword, the famine, all these different plagues upon you, along with these heathen nations, man. You know? Right. This is true. That's why the Lord is doing it now, man. Yep. On the, uh, the Lord is intensifying things, because... They gotta be destroyed. You gotta suffer more, and it's just true according to the Bible. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's yeah, that's not yeah. Bible for sure. It's the book of Saint Matthew twenty four and twenty one. It says, "For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be." So you can think about all the horrific events that happened in history, mm-hmm. all the catastrophes and disasters that we went through as the people. It's not gonna be compared to the times that we're living in now right now and that's gonna um come to pass in the very near future man mm-hmm. you know that's how bad it's gonna be out here man yep. things are gonna man the things the things that you see in these different apocalyptic shows and movies yep. it's gonna be 10 times worse in reality man you know and it, it, it's a beautiful thing that the lord's bringing this because people's pride is at a climax right now mm-hmm. everybody's proud as hell so the lord's gonna bring that great humbling which is those judgments man one worse after the next one, man. These women, these wicked ass women gonna get it. These wicked ass men gonna get it. And these wicked ass kids gonna get it, man. The Lord is tired of our people's wickedness, bro. Because if we tired, how much more the Lord? I got something. Yes. Yeah, but I ain't got nothing. Uh, I, I, just had, I was just holding it uh, Jeremiah 37. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, uh, it's about right. 5 and uh, 7 at the time. Yo, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. It says, At last, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Yeah, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. It's the time of your trouble. Because the main focus is you. Is you. Because who's the main ones that come up against this truth? It's Jake, man. Jake has always come up talking about some damn nonsense, man. Mm-hmm. Talking about some damn Islam. Talk about Eve, uh, 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 Christianity. It's always damn Jake, man. Mm-hmm. So the Lord, like, listen, man, the main focus is you in this, in this great tribulation, man. This is the time of your trouble because you're the most proudest nation on the planet Earth right now underneath the Edomites, man. Yep. You got it. Now it says, but he shall be saved out of it. But the, but the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be protected, all right, and saved out of those troubles. Now, although the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be in the midst, all right, they're going to have to uh, go through some different trials and tribulations and tests for the Lord, but the Lord is going to be dealing with them, though. See, that's the difference. Oh, what y'all niggas, what y'all going to do when all hell breaks up? What, what you going to do? We're going to trust in the Lord. We're going to trust in the Lord, fear the Lord, do what we got to do to keep serving the Lord. Even if we got to lose our life, so what? To, 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 to die is gain. We got an eternal kingdom coming. We got immortality coming, man. That's our hope. 
What the hell do you ninjas got hope in, man? This society, this society is going to be destroyed. The politics is a joke. The religions are a joke. The school system is a joke. The pharmaceutical systems uh, industry is a joke. The music industry is a joke. Everything is through here, man. So what the hell is there to put the put, put, put the trust in this place, man? This place is about to be out of here, man. Physically. Because right now, spiritually, it's out of there. But physically, it's about to be up out of here with those missiles, man. And the laser beams from the chariots, which you call UFOs. Right. That was it, brother. God, that was it. What you got, brother? That's a problem. Let's go back to this Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord. While he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Right. And right now is the time if you on the fence, right? If you if you hopping around, if you listening to all these different camps, right? You undecided, Finish, you man. pray to your how about Shimia Sha for the spirit of discernment to, to lead you to the to, to this truth, to the right man that's teaching you 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Right? That's how you seek the Lord through the men that he set up, starting through, with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Right, it says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Matter of fact, Salaki, your brother, or not. Or not. Or not. Or not. The Lord can just uh, torture your ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to. Listen, man, we're not forcing this on nobody. Right. All right. We're not chasing people down the street trying to get them to conform to the ways of the Lord. Right. It's either you repent, you die, man. You die. That's why we say, or not. Mm -hmm. You can keep on doing your bigness, and the Lord's going to torture your ass, right. man. Right. Just hold that same energy when the Lord bring that spirit creative avengers your way, man. Mm -hmm. Just take it like a man. Right. Or take it like a woman. You right. got it, brother. It says, call ye upon him while he is near. Right. In order for you to call him, you got to know the proper names to call him. Sure. Right. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in the ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue. Right. Not sweet baby Jesus. Nope. Not Yahshua. Not Yah. Tied not name, Yahweh. Man. Not uh, Allah, not Buddha, the hell Allah. you know, not none of these other different names, man. You got to call them the correct names. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Or, yeah. as the brother beautifully said, or be destroyed, man. Yep. You know, when Poor these God. evils come upon you. you know? Yep. We in the time of the draft, man. That's why we say, we confidently say, or not. Or not. You could just go be drafted off to the Middle East yep. and you can be destroyed, man. Yep. We don't give a damn. We care about the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Those who are like-minded like us, man. Right. We're ready to get the hell up out of here. Right. Those who want to stay here and so-called prosper, hey, be destroyed with this place, man. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to Yeah, kind, kind. We'll bring out one more. I'm going to bring out one. You bring out one. You bring out one more. Yeah. We'll close it out. Bye, yeah. man. This is, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 5, and verse 7. It says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You got it. Kind of, it says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord, you know, which means, you know, don't don't procrastinate. Right. You know, because we don't, you know, this this truth is uh, time sensitive. That's right. It says, and, and put not off from day to day. No, stop, stop dragging your ass. So it says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, you know. So suddenly shall the, uh, the the fierce anger of the Lord, you know, come forth. It says, it says, and in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed, you know. Whatever, whatever, you know, these people, uh, they whatever they find security in, they find security in their, their money, yeah. you know, what their, their jobs, the the women, all right, their, their entertainment. Politics. Yep, yeah. politics. You know, that the uh like brothers going into the their their uh, their religions, all right? Which, which are nothing but false like idols. That. Kind, yeah, like you said, brother, like they four one K, you know, right. these different uh benefits. You know, which which Esau is, is feeding you nothing more than, than crumbs, man. Cause, right. cause it what the scriptures tell you that that money uh uh fly the way, all yeah. right? Like wings is fly away. Kind of like wings that fly away. It says, it says, and, and perish in the day of vengeance. Mm -hmm. You know, just because the Lord, the Lord is is coming with with fire. You know, he's cut. He said that what all, that all these elements are are going to burn. You know, all right? Via via the thermonuclear missiles. You know, and, and the laser beams from the chariot, like the brother was beautifully going into. 
Man. Um, I'm gonna bring mine out. This is Jeremiah 11, verse 11. Thus saith the Lord Power, Yahweh Baha Shimei Shah. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna start at verse 10. Jeremiah 11, verse 10. It says, They are turned back to their iniquities of their forefathers. Yeah, because they are their forefathers coming back. Those same wicked ninjas that came up against uh, the Lord, came up against King Moses and King David. All those unbelievers and scoffers and scorners, they're back today, man. That's why their asses is receiving judgment, man. So don't feel sorry for these ninjas and these ninja women, man. Look at that, like that chick that got blasted by that cop, man. To hell with her, man. That was judging from me, how about shit, me, how shot. Whatever her name is. This is uh, Jeremiah 11, verse 10. It says, They are turned back to the iniquities, sin upon sins, of the forefathers, which refused to hear my words. And they went after other gods to serve them. But they're breaking the, the first and main commandment. Yeah, next time, that's going to be not disturbed. Now, you all good, bro. Uh, it says, uh, which refused to hear my words. And they went after other gods to serve them. And the house of Israel and the house of Judah, all 12 tribes, all of us went to hell off. Have broken my covenant, a.k.a. the laws. Which I made with their fathers. Verse 11. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Behold, I will bring evil upon them. So you want to know why these things are happening to our people? Because our people are wicked, man. They're wicked, evil, degenerate bastards. You know? And that's why Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is, 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 is judging them, man. So if you're in the right mind frame, you should be in agreement with the Lord. You know? These evil ass ninjas, these these weak these wicked ass ninjas and ninja women get judged, man. You're supposed to be happy the Lord took their ass out. Or if they get evicted, or if they going through different uh relationship issues. Rejoice, man. Right. That's judging from your high about Shimmy on shot. Eviction notices and whatnot. Because behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they cry, and though they shall cry unto me. I will not hearken unto them. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods on whom they have offered incense. Yeah, Jebus, you got those stupid Jehovah wickedness, you got these false asses like groups, Christianity, and all these damn false religions, man. Them guys ain't gonna save you. Those idols ain't gonna save you, man, because they ain't real. Only how about Shema Shah, the God that we serve is real, man. We say that with boldness and fear, first and foremost. It says, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. And we just read in Jeremiah the 30th chapter that this is the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Because who are the main idol worshippers of the world, man? Jake, man. Jake go the hell off. Hell, we was going off back in the world, man. We was once believing in that nonsense. But since the Lord woke us up, we understand that the way that how he was living back then, back in the world, was nonsense, man. It's, it was evil. That's why we, we feel regretful, remorseful, and sorry that we even lived that type of lifestyle, man. That's why we repent daily to the Lord, man. But the ones are people who don't want to repent, hey, maybe how about she now shall destroy them? Right. You got it, bro. It's the book of Second Edges 9 and 10. It says, for such as in their life, have received benefits right right you've had it made you know you lived a good life on this side you receive your consolation and have not known me yet you have not known you how about shim it says and they that have loathed my law right it says while they yet had liberty right when you had freedom to seek the lord's law to seek his will the righteous way it says and when there's yet a place of repentance was open unto them by way of his servants, the prophets, right? Showing you the way to salvation. It says, understood not, but despised it, right? You hated the ways of your Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Right. Yeah, so, so therefore, when these evils come, you're going to get caught up in it. The Lord is going to destroy you. It says, the same must know it at the death by pain, right? So that's when you're going to know, right? That's when you're going to understand when these evils come, when the Lord brings death upon you by pain, right? And you're going to know who did it. 
because we 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 we're constantly bringing out this name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai constantly, so you gonna know it's gonna be a a constant reminder that rings off in your head to let you know who did it, right? The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is gonna bring these judgments, man. Right? These evils. That's what the Lord is bringing. Evils, bad times, right? So this is this is what you have to look forward to. Because the Lord not gonna shy away from 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 these these bad times. He he gets excited and we get excited. Right. <laughs> you know, we it's looking forward to these things. It's just right. True. We rejoice in the judgments of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai because that means the Lord is fighting our battles. He, he's he's doing these things for the elect's sake, right? But that's pretty much it, bro. That's you know? right, man. The Lord's gonna bring more storms, more famines, yep. more protesters, more people getting uh deleted. Yep. The Lord's going to intensify these things, man. Mm -hmm. And this lesson is going to how the Lord is bringing bad times right. throughout the whole planet Earth right now, man. Mm -hmm. It's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. So hey, with that, we pray that this lesson was better fine. But before we close out, we want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. And that's the double honor to our elder apostles slash elder bishops. Oh, great millstone, and shall it want to all the sincere I can lay with what the whole planet of earth to the best of their abilities. Whether that people here with it in forbear, man, it's only for the elect. Shalom, shalom to the elect, to the elect, shalom, shalom.